three and four. So this week in our English, we have been learning about the story of cute little five. And so far you've been making lots of predictions. So I'm going to read the story to you today. And I've got my little friend here called Dino to listen as well. Can you all say hello to Dino? Hello Dino. So our story is called Q Pewtle 5 and the author is Nick Butterworth. Q Pewtle 5 has landed. He has come to Earth. But Earth is not where Q Pewtle 5 wants to be. He is on his way to a moon party for his friend Zed Poodle 6. But something has gone wrong. Oh no. Q Poodle 5 has a problem with his spaceship. One of the rocket boosters won't boost. The spaceship won't fly. Q Poodle 5 looks carefully at the rocket booster. Hmm, he says. He thinks he knows what is wrong with it. It's just as I thought, he says. It's broken. The spaceship needs a new rocket booster. But where on earth can he find one? Ah, here comes an earthling. Perhaps he knows. He looks friendly and is a nice colour, green. Please can you help, said Cuputo 5. I need a rocket booster. The earthling can't help. He doesn't even know what a rocket booster is. Never mind. Here come some more earthlings. Perhaps they can help. Can you spot the earthlings on their way? Excuse me, says Cuputo 5. Do you know where I can find a new rocket booster? The earthlings think very hard. No, says the first one. Sorry, we don't use rocket boosters, says the second. We are birds, says the third earthling. Oh dear, says q 5 I'm going to be late for the party. But... Here comes another earthling, and look, the earthling is carrying a rocket booster. What look? Please, says q 5 can you help me? He tells the earthling about his spaceship and how it won't fly without a new rocket booster. You can have this one, the earthling says, as soon as I finish my dinner. Is it really a rocket booster? The earthling is called Colin and he is pleased to help. As soon as Colin has finished his dinner, q 5 fixes the new rocket booster onto the spaceship. <clears throat> q 5 climbs into his spaceship. He presses the starter button, but nothing happens. Oh, be bother, Bootle, says q 5 I'm going to be late and Zed Bootle 6 will be upset. And he scratches his head to think. Colin looks very carefully at the spaceship. I'm not very clever with rockets, he says, but I think I can see the problem. Colin knows why the spaceship won't fly. Can you pass me a spoon? He says. There's a bit of my dinner stuck in your rocket booster. Now the rocket booster is clear. q 5 presses the starter button again. There's a rumbling sound. Then a bang! Followed by a funny smell that smells a bit like Colin's dinner. Only cooked. q 5 pushes the starter button again. Hooray! The spaceship whooshes up into the air. q 5 waves goodbye to Colin and the birds and the green earthling. And then we'll wave back. Goodbye q 5 
Enjoy the moon party. Then suddenly, just as suddenly as it came, the spaceship is gone. And Cupido 5 makes it to the moon party just in time to see his friends. Bye.